Hello! Today we are going to learn about vertebrate animals. Vertebrates are animals that have got an internal skeleton or backbone. There are five groups of vertebrates. Mammals, birds, fish, reptiles and amphibians. Let's talk a little bit about mammals. They have got lungs, they nurse their young with milk, they have got fur or hair, and they are warm-blooded animals. One example of a mammal is a dog. The dog has got fur, it has got lungs, it nurses its young with milk, and it is a warm-blooded animal. What do you think? Is the bear a mammal? Yes, it is a mammal because it has got lungs, it has got fur, it nurses its young with milk, and it is a warm-blooded animal. And what do you think about the horse? Is it a mammal or not? Yes, it is a mammal because it has got lungs, it nurses its young with milk, it has got fur, and it is a warm-blooded animal. Do you know these two animals? This is an echidna and this is a platypus. They are mammals and they have got interesting characteristics. Let's talk about them. The platypus is a mammal but it is an exception because it lays eggs it is a semi-aquatic animal and it has got a beak. It looks like a duck. The echidna is also an exception. It is a mammal but it lays eggs. It has got a pouch like a kangaroo and it has got a beak like a bird. Now let's talk about birds. Birds have got feathers, they have got wings, they lay eggs and they are warm-blooded animals. One example of a bird is an eagle. An eagle is a bird because it has got feathers, it has got wings, it is a warm-blooded animal and it lays eggs. What do you think? Can all birds fly? Many, but not all can fly, like for example the penguin and the ostrich. They are birds, but they can't fly. And what about the bat? Is it a bird or not? No, it isn't a bird. It is a mammal because it has got lungs, it nurses its young with milk, it has got fur and it is a warm-blooded animal. Now let's talk about fish. Fish can live and breathe under water. They lay eggs, they have got gills and they are cold-blooded animals. One example is a swordfish. A swordfish is a fish because it lives and breathes under water. It has got gills. It is a cold-blooded animal and it lays eggs. Okay, now it's your turn. What do you think? Is a dolphin a fish? No, it isn't a fish. It is a mammal because it has got lungs, it nurses its young with milk, and it is a warm-blooded animal. Let's talk about amphibians. They lay eggs, they can live in and out of the water, they have got gills and lungs. When they are young, they have got gills, but later they develop lungs. And they are cold-blooded animals. One example of an amphibian is the salamander. A salamander is an amphibian because it lays eggs, it lives in and out of the water, it is a cold-blooded animal and it has got gills and lungs. And the last group, reptiles. They lay eggs, they have got dry and hard scales, 
and they are cold-blooded animals. The lizard is an example of a reptile. It is a reptile because it lays eggs, it has got dry and hard scales, and it is a cold-blooded animal. What do you think? Is a turtle an amphibian or a reptile? Yes, it is a reptile because it lays eggs, it has got dry and hard scales and it is a cold-blooded animal.